salvation, but to deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts. My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found a house, their chittle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, and the ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man who succors from thee, in whose heart he hath disposed to ascend to the veil of weeping, to the place which he has set, for the lawgiver shall give a blessing. They shall go from strength to strength, the God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hearken unto my prayer. Give heed, O God of Jacob. Behold, O God, our defender, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For better is one day in thy courts than a thousand elsewhere. I have elected to be now cast in the house of my God, rather than to dwell in the tabernacles of sinners. The Lord God loveth mercy and truth. He shall give grace and glory. The Lord shall not deprive of good things them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou wast well pleased, O Lord, with thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the transgression of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sin. Thou hast calmed all thy wrath. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thy displeasure. Turn us, O God, of our salvation, and turn thy displeasure away from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us forever? Wilt thou extend thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou shalt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I hear what the Lord God will speak concerning me, for he shall speak peace to his people, to his people, and to his saints, and to them that turn their heart unto him. Yet his salvation is nigh to them that fear him, that his that glory may abide in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace of kiss. Truth has sprung out of the earth. And righteousness has shown down from heaven. For the Lord shall give goodness, and the land shall give her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and he shall set his steps in the way. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hearken to me, for I'm poor and needy am I. Keep my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee I cry all the day long. May glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and kind and great in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my tribulation I cried unto thee, for thou hast hearkened unto me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, and there are none like unto thy works. All the nations who thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great in workers' wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart be glad that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart. I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the lawless have risen up against me, and a congregation of mighty men have sought after my soul, have not set thee before them. Thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering, great in mercy and true. Look upon me, and have mercy me, give strength unto thy child, and save the son of thy handmaid. Work upon me a sign for good, that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed. Thou, Lord, hast helped me and comforted me. Work upon me a sign for good, that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed. For thou, o Lord, hast helped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
Divinely wise Anna, thou dost carry in thy womb the pure mother of God who gave life to our life. Therefore thou art now carried joyfully to the inheritance of heaven, to the abode of those who rejoice in glory. Where thou seekest forgiveness of sins for those who faithfully honor thee, ever blessed one. Both now and ever into ages of ages, amen. O thou for sakes was born of a virgin, and didst endure the crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death by death, and as God didst manifest the resurrection, despise not then that thou hast fashioned with thy hand, manifest thy love of man, a merciful one, accept the thale folk who bear thee, and who intercedeth for us, and save thy despairing people, O our Savior. Forsake us not till the end, for thy name's sake, neither do away with thy covenant, nor withdraw thy mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, beloved of thee, and for Isaac, thy servant, and Israel, thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, of mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, of mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, of mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, look upon and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We celebrate the memory of the progenitors of Christ, and with faith we ask their help that deliverance from every affliction be granted to those who cry out. Be with us, O God, who in thy good pleasure glorify them. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. O thou at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and on earth, worship and glorified O Christ God, long suffering, great in mercy and goodness of heart, who love us the right and set us mercy on sinners. Who call us all men to salvation for the tidings of good things to come. Thou, the same Lord, receive also our prayers at this hour. Direct our lives in thy commandments. Sanctify our souls. Cleanse our bodies. Direct our thoughts. Cleanse our minds and deliver us from every tribulation, wickedness, and affliction. Encompass us by thy holy angels who are guarded and guided by their host. We may become worthy of the unity of the faith and of the understanding and of thine unapproachable glory. We bless thou unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious without compare than the seraphim, without corruption gave us birth to God the word. Verily, they are focus, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Fa bless Father. us and show the light of his countenance upon us and be merciful to us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who had long suffering for our offenses and has led us even to this present hour in which thou dost hang upon the life-creating tree and dost make the way of entry into paradise with a wise deed and by death dost abolish death, cleanse us sinners and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and transgressed and we are not worthy to lift up our sight Look upon the height of heaven, inasmuch as we have forsaken the way of thy righteousness, have walked according to the will of our own hearts, that we implore thy incomparable goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercies.
save us for thy holy name's sake, for our days have vanished in vanity. Redeem us from the hand of the adversary and forgive our sins and mortify our fleshly desires that having put off the old man, we may be clothed upon with the new and may live unto thee, our master and protector, who that following thine ordinances we may attain unto unceasing rest, wherein is the dwelling place of them that are glad. For thou art in truth the true gladness and joy of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee do we send back glory together with thy Father who is without beginning, and thine all holy, good, and life-creating spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. We are few. We offer you incense, Christ our God, as a sweet spiritual fragrance to steep upon your holy altar and down upon us in the kind of grace of your all holy spirit. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before the very Christ himself, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Him. Bless the Lord, O oh, oh, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, Lord, bless the Lord. Son to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. 
Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. With the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For his beatitude, our metropolitan peak on prison, and the Archbishop Alexander, for the honorable priest of the diaconate in Christ and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this country, its president, for all its civil authorities and those serving in its armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city of San Antonio, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. As we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For unto thee are to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the man walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord knows the way the righteous, but the way the wicked will perish. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear and joy in him with trembling. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are who take refuge in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, O oh Lord, save me, O oh my God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Salvation belongs to the Lord, thy blessing be upon thy people. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to me, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. 
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Liberating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life Unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For thou art our God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Mm. Lord, I call upon thee, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon thee, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon thee. Hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in thy sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Bring my soul out of prison that I may give thanks to thy name. Possessor in victory over hell, O Christ, since thou art free among the dead, thou didst descend the cross, raising with thyself those who sat in the shades of death. O mighty Savior, who do life from thine own light, have mercy on us. The righteous will surround me, for thou wilt do bountifully with me. Today Christ tramples, today Christ tramples on death, for he is risen, as he said. Let us all sing this song, who is granted joy to the world. O light and approachable, O fountain of life, Savior Almighty, have mercy on us. Out of the depths I cry to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Where shall we sinners flee from thee? O thou art in all creation, in heaven thou dwellest, in hell thou dost tremble on death, in the depth of the sea. Even there, there is thy hand, O Master, to be weeping and falling before we pray, as thou didst rise from the dead, have mercy on us. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. In thy cross we glory, O Christ. We sing and glorify thy resurrection, for thou art our God, and we know no other than thee. If thou, O Lord, shouldst mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand, but there is forgiveness with thee. Rejoice, O Alaska. Exult, O North America, for a lamp bearing the light of the Son of Righteousness has, glor has gloriously appeared in thee. 
Father Jacob, wise and God, who enlightened the northern land with the joyous message of the gospel of Christ, now shines forth in all the world. Therefore we sing praises to Christ, who is wondrous in his hands. For the name's sake I wait for thee, O Lord, my soul's waited for thy word, my soul, my soul hoped on the Lord. O oh, you lovers of the feast, let us hasten together to honor the righteous Jacob, who poured out his life for the church in countless sorrows and afflictions, and in pain and deprivation. He poured all things as the apostles of old. We celebrate thy memory, O Saint chosen by God as a help to those in distress, Jacob our Father. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. Like the patriarch Jacob of old, our holy father Jacob fled from the comforts of his life and was granted a vision. A ladder from heaven appeared in the wilds of Alaska that the people might ascend to God with patience and love and the labor of many years. He obtained the longed for bride, the holy church of Christ shining forth in his native land. Therefore we cry aloud to him, O holy father Jacob, Jacob, in truth the Lord for us, that our souls may be saved. For with the mother is mercy, and with him is plenty redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. The holy prophet Moses raised up a tabernacle on, on Mount Horeb, and there he spoke with God face to face as one might speak with a friend. The righteous Jacob pinched a tent in the Alaskan wilderness, where he celebrated the mysteries of Christ for the sanctification of the faithful. Praise the Lord, all nations, praise him, all people. Born on the remote island of a heart Thou was called to become a witness to Christ, not by the glorious path of martyrdom, but by humbly accepting the divine call to enter the holy priesthood, preaching, healing, counseling, praying to God, and tending thy flock. For forty years the Alaskan wilderness. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Missionary teacher of the Atkin, Alouettes, thou dost translate the word of God and found schools for them. Thou dost continue the missionary efforts of the holy hierarchy. Following his example, thou dost journey to remote lands, bringing the gospel to the Yupiks and the Athabascans, baptizing them to love and unity in Christ. Sanctifying them and bestowing the blessings of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
In any assembly of the faithful, rejoices in the memory of the Father Jacob, boast of Alaska and glory of priests, wise preacher of the gospel of Christ, true pillar of the church, fellow citizen with the angels, equal of the apostles and prophets, O holy Jacob, blessed Father, entreat Christ our God that our souls may be saved. Now and ever into ages of ages, amen. Who will not bless thee, O most holy virgin? Who will not sing of thy most pure child's bearing? The only begotten Son shone timelessly from the Father, but from thee he was ineffably incarnate. God by nature he became man for our sake, not divided into two persons, but manifest as one into nature. Entreat him, O pure and all blessed Lady, to have mercy. Blessed is the entrance to the holy place always and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, let us attend. All glance on light of the holy The immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come. To the setting of the sun, and behold the light of healing, we praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Spirit God, all times to worship with voices of praise, oh, of God, and give Therefore, all the world doth glorify thee. Let us attend. Peace be unto all wisdom. The Prokemenon and the Sixth Stone. The Lord hath become king with beauty, hath he clothed himself. The Lord hath become king with beauty, hath he clothed himself. The Lord is robed with power and hath girded himself. The Lord hath become king with beauty. Hath he loved himself. 
for he hath made the world so sure that it shall never be moved. The Lord hath become king. Have he himself? Holiness belongeth to thine house, O Lord, unto length of day. The Lord hath become king with beauty. Have he clothed? Himself. The Lord hath become king with beauty. Have he clothed himself? Wisdom. The reading from the wisdom of Solomon. Let us attend. But the righteous live forever, and the reward is with the Lord. The Lord, the Most High, takes care of them. Therefore, they will receive a glorious crown and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord, because with his right hand he will cover them, and with his arm he will shield them. The Lord will take his zeal as his whole armor and will arm all creation to repel his enemies. He will put on righteousness as a breastplate and will wear impartial justice as a helmet. He will take holiness as an invincible shield and sharpen stern wrath for a sword and creation will rejoice with him to fight against the madmen. Shafts of lightning will fly with true aim and will leap to the target as from a well Drawn bow of clouds, and hailstones full of wrath will be hurled as from a catapult. The water of the sea will rage against them, and rivers will relentlessly overwhelm them. <coughs> a mighty man will rise against them, and like a tempest, it will winnow them away. Lawlessness will lay waste the whole earth, and evil doing will over. Turn in the thrones of rulers. Listen, therefore, O kings, and understand. Learn, no judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear, you that rule over multitudes and boast of, boast of many nations. Wisdom. The reading from John. Let us attend. Brethren, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world, and the world hears them. We are of God, he who knows God hears us, he who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Wisdom. The reading from John. Let us attend. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has seen? And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves him who begot also loves him who is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, and we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. 
For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he that overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Mercy in us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan deacon, for his eminence, Archbishop Alexander, and for all our brethren in Christ? Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities and those serving in its armed forces? Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs and for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this Holy Church? We pray especially for the servants of God, Elaine Shuping, and the victims of co and the, those who have perished in the COVID pandemic. And for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox, the part of this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation? For the servants of God, the Archpriest Antonio, the Matushka Elizabeth, the Priest Joshua, the Matushka Mariana, for Kayla, Phyllis, Steve, Svetlana, Jeanette, Clayton, Mary, Michael, Jason, Michael, Vera, Veronica, Claude, Eva, the suffering Christians in the Middle East, all those suffering and affected by COVID-19, Ashley, Sundeep, the child Giovanni, for our catechumens Michael and Nadia, for Nina, Mark, Paul, Olga, Olga and Stephen, Mark and Jana, and for all the brethren of this holy temple, those whom they have in mind, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all-venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou safe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praise and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed thou, O Master, let me understand thy statutes. Blessed thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song. To thee is due glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our 
sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. As we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Our Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense over the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Grant it, O Lord. And liberate our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Thou art good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. O Lord our God, it is bow the heavens and come down before the salvation. And come down to the salvation of mankind. Look upon thy servants and thine inheritance. For unto thee, the fearful judge, we have lovest mankind, of thy servants bow their heads, and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy, and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all the adverse powers of the devil, and from vain thoughts and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in thine ineffable goodness look down upon us, thy people gathered in thy holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. Thou knowest our weakness. Thou hearest our cry and repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who lovest mankind, deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Send thine angel to watch over us and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify that most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the resurrection, O Christ, our Savior, me angels in heaven see, enable us on earth to glorify the impurity of the Lord is king, he is robed in majesty, destroying the gates of hell, breaking the chains of death. Thou is resurrect the fallen human races, almighty God. O Lord, it is rise from the dead, glory to thee. For he hath established the world so that it shall never be moved. These are angry to, to return us to paradise. Christ was nailed to the cross and placed in a tomb. The murdering women sought him with tears, crying, Woe well to us, O Savior! How dost thou deign to descend to death? What place can hold thy life-bearing body? Come to us as thou didst promise. Take away our wailing and tears. Then the angel appeared to them. Stop thy lamentations. Go proclaim to the apostles, the Lord is risen. 
granting us purification and great mercy. Holiness briefs thy house, O Lord, forevermore. Having been crucified as thou didst will, by thy burial thou dost capture death, O Christ, and rise in the third day as God in glory, granting the world unending life and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Father Jacob, thou hast been revealed as a true lover of Christ, as a faithful servant at the altar, and as a priest of the Lord, an instructor in prayer and perseverance. An intercessor for the old world and the new. Pray for peace and great mercy for our souls. Now and ever and to ages of ages, amen. A new miracle surpasses all ancient miracles. Who knows of a mother who gave birth without a man? Who carried in her arms her Creator? This birth is the will of God. Since thou dost carry him as an infant in thine arms, O most pure one. And since thou dost possess motherly bones before him, do do not cease praying for us who honor thee, that he may be bountiful and save our souls. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. O thine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Unlight, enlighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people is right. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O, o Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The angelic powers were at thy tomb. The God became as dead man. Mary stood by thy grave, seeking thy most pure body. Thou didst capture her, not being tempted by it. Thou didst come to the Virgin, granting thy. O Lord, who didst rise from the dead, Glory to thee. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O righteous Father, Jacob, our dormant of that kind that you can't delta, thou dost offer, thy, offer thyself as a living sacrifice, to bring light to our searching people, offspring of Russian America, flower of brotherly unity, healer of sickness, and terror of demons. O Holy Father Jacob, Pray to Christ, God, that our souls may be saved, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice over the Theotokos. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb. For thou hast born the Savior of our souls. Wisdom. Father bless. Blessed be he who is Christ our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Confirm, O oh God. The holy orthodox faith and orthodox Christians unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotoko, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious be compared than the seraphim. Without defilement thou gavest birth to God the word. To their focus we magnify thee. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, to the prayers of his most pure mother, of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of Saint Anthony the Great, the heavenly patron of this holy temple, of the holy state, Jacob Netzvietov, whose memory we keep this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God. St. Jacob Netzvetov was a, a half-Russian, half-native uh, Alaskan, who really spent the, the majority of his life and service out on sort of what we, what we now call you know, the final frontier. And the service that he was called to do was it began with his wife and his father, they were, uh, his wife, of course, was with him. His father was the, the tonsured reader for their mission. And their mission went out and you know, began to, to, to reach out into all of these island uh, strings that, that, that went you know, far away from their little parish. Began parish ministry to minister to these different communities. And very soon... Uh, St. Jacob's wife, Anna, uh, died of cancer in the midst of their ministry. They had not been in ministry for many years at all. 
And then his father, the very next year, passed away. So Jacob was left really desolate. I mean, he, he contemplated going back to Sitka where in, in Russia where he had gotten some education and, and just joining a monastery and living out the rest of his days in prayer, hoping to find some healing for the grief that he was going through. And it was St. Innocent of Alaska in our icon over there to the far right that it was during this period of time, they were contemporaries, of course, and as his bishop, he encouraged him, sort of talked him out of uh, running away to a monastery. Because it's, at that point, it would have been, it is a hard life as a monk, uh, even for those who are called to that life, much less the people that are not called and who attempt it. But he was able to stay. And he went, and we even have his, his records of at the end of his life. He passed away when he was 60. Uh, his health had deteriorated, and he passed uh, away at his final post, where he was just simply at another parish, but it was a, a particular outpost, which escapes me now. But uh, he served at this little outpost even as his health declined, a simple priest, but a holy man who educated the children, who went and baptized and married and chrismated and communed the faithful. Uh, it simply reminds me of, of a way that um, our uh, Father Valentine here in San Antonio at uh, St. John Cassian Romanian Church, uh, we went, he was, he spoke at the uh, one of the deanery meetings of some of our clergy, we, uh, they invited him over to Tyler, and I tagged along. And he talked about, in one of his talks to the rest of us, he, he talked about his vocation as a priest. You know, what do I do when somebody shows up on our door? I've never even seen them. I don't know who they are. Do I baptize their baby or not? Their last name sounds Romanian. I, you know, the accent sounds familiar. Do I do this or do I hold off? He says, you know, really my job as a priest is to infect everyone with God. And he says this in his, his accent that I, I love. But to infect all my people, everyone around me with God. And this, it seems to me, to see a man like St. Jacob, that this was a man who was aware of that mission. But it isn't only for those who wear the vestments, who, as we say, are clothed with the grace of the priesthood, the sacramental priesthood. We are all of us priests. We have been anointed with oil, and we have been called to be those who offer up to God our lives, the work of our hands. Tomorrow I'll offer up bread and wine, and which is the work of men's hands to knead the dough. We offer this up, offering unto the thine own of thine own, your own things from your own people. We offer this to you. Bless it, infect it with your life, and give it back to us. But we're all called to be that kind of infectious presence. Perhaps not in a sacramental ministry, but with the people in our lives? Are we infecting them with joy, which can be quiet joy? Are we infecting them with mercy? Are we infecting them with prayer? You know, I've started now when, I mean, again, I've gotten back into it because I realized that I had gotten out of the habit. 
when I talk to someone on the phone uh, in a pastoral situation, that is in a particularly uh, difficult or trying situation. I always try to end with a prayer. It seems a very simple thing, and I, I'm ashamed that I, to say that I moved away from it. But to you know, place this situation before the very face of God, the very presence of God, do we go to prayer with our kids, with our family members? You know, is that where we begin? Even as we do other things, you know, whether it's illness or whether it's difficulty or anxiety, whatever it is. Are we priests with these people, with these situations that are in our lives? Do we offer them to God? Do we pray for our students, for our coworkers, for those that perhaps we have under us if we're running businesses? This is a, a way in which we can all be, in our lives, priests. To speak of God, to carry God, to bear witness to God in a way that is winsome, I suppose we could say. In a way that is attractive. Not that we're simply looking to be attractive or popular or, or what have you, but in a way that is gentle and loving and peaceful. I don't know the personality traits of St. Jacob Netzveto, but we know that he was a faithful servant of the Lord that it seems to me did what I've heard on several occasions. He had the orthodox frame of reference for all of this. Expect God to act every day, but think in terms of hundreds of years. He did the work of the priest that he was called to day in and day out. And here we are, decades and decades later, having benefited from his witness and now even still benefiting by his holy prayers. By the prayers of God's holy priest, St. Jacob, may we flourish in our priestly ministry and infect this world with the fragrance of Christ, to whom be all glory, honor, and worship, together with his Father, who has no beginning in the all-holy and good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thank you all. We'll have, uh, I'll be available for confession for anyone who uh, would want to come. Uh, we'll have divine liturgy uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. May God bless you. Have a peaceful and undisturbed evening. Turn off the screen.